Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, the bug guys are back. The bug guys are back. Ah! Got it. There's more! There's more of them! There's more of them! Oh my god, they're out of the ah! ah! It's an infestation! It's an infestation! Hey, what's up YouTube land? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing Defense Project Causality CA05 Backfiery. So here we are. There he is, and as usual, first and foremost, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Here we have a nice picture of Backfiery. Yes, his name is Backfiery. Yeah, the same nice obligatory product shot right here, and then, of course, the illustrated version on the other side. Come back here, you got your obligatory product shots. He can do this, he can do that, and he can do the other. Yes, he turns into a bug. Yes, he can stand there and look at you, or he can turn his back to you in shame. Uh, he has a bunch of knives on his shins. He turns into a bug, and they're just, they're clumsy. They, they keep dropping things. And that's pretty much it for the box. And again, when you open the box, you get your instructionalization, so you can instructionalize yourself. Instructionalize yourself. I love the way that he's looking down at his weapons as if to say, how the hell did I drop these in such a perfectly straight line? How did I do that? I don't know, that's amazing. It's a once in a lifetime thing right there. Um, and also you get to the nice little collector's card with nice piece of artwork. And right here we have Beck 105's diary entry. Oh, it's his diary! Dear diary, how long has it been? It seems like forever since I wrote in you. But there's a bio if you want to read it. There's another part. There's another part. There's another part. I like this part right here. Right there. I am backfiery! Just want you to know that. And that's it. I can't wait for that day to come. Neither can I. Neither can I. It'll be a wonderful, wonderful day. Not sure it will. But here is backfiery, who is an homage to G1 Kickback. And, um, very nice grasshopper mode. Looks very, very cool. Again, very well done. Love the way this thing came out. Just looks so cool. And yes, he has a grasshopper with, with daggers on his legs. So, <laughs> you try to try to fumigate this guy. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to be in for a surprise. Oh, you're going to get a dagger to the throat if you try to fumigate this guy. That will not be pleasant. Not at all. Um, Articulation-wise in this mode, uh, the wings are posable. They are on the ball joints. So you can you know, have them tucked down here if you like, or if you want them nice and, and splayed out. You can pretty much pose them however you want. Um, these little legs up front here are on ball joints, so you have good range of movement there. Uh, the back legs, you have a hip joint right here. Um, this joint, due to transformation, is basically locked in this position. Um, and uh, also, this joint right here is basically more for transformation than anything. It kind of locks in place, but you do have a little movement here on the toes. Um, these little antenna here, you can move these up and down. But that's pretty much it. It doesn't have a, 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 a lot of articulation. Um, and also there's a, a thigh swivel also. Not a lot of articulation in bug mode, but still. It's nice. It's cool. I like it. Me likes. Me likes. Um, so that's basically it. Um, it does have some the little backfiery logos on his butt there. <laughs> And that's it. Now, for transformation, I do like to take these little little daggers off. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about these daggers a little bit later. Once I get transformation done. Because there's something you should really know about them. Something important. Something that could change your life. Okay, maybe not that serious, but... Anyway. Transformation. Uh, what I usually like to do is start with the legs. Now, I do like to take the bug wings here. And Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. What am I doing? What am I doing? I forgot to do comparisons. Why would I do that? Oh my god. For comparison, for comparison, here he is. With G1 kickback. You can see that. Oh, look. Preciousness. 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 A Tale of Two Hoppers. Oh, that's going to be the next Lifetime Channel original movie. Oh, yes. And here he is next to his teammates here. Oh, we have Stormbomb. And we have Thunder Shred, and yes, they look quite, quite good together. 
just you can see here how he kind of stacks up size wise. He is very good size. Definitely matches up pretty well with the other two. Yes, very, very, very good. Now we'll get down to transformation. Now we'll do that. That seems like the only logical step now. Let me bring the camera back up. All right, now, as I said before, I like to take the wings and bring them forward just to kind of get them out of the way. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take these panels right here that are on either side of the thigh, and you're going to untab them like that, and that will free up that joint, as you see here. So, now you're going to bring them down like that, and they will tab in. There is a little peg. There is a peg and a tab, and there is a slot and a port right here. So you're just going to take it and peg slash slot it in, like so, like that. And now you're going to, well, it did it on its own, but you're going to take the little bug leg, flip that up, and now you're going to take this section here and rotate around, which in turn will bring out the foot and also will flip out the heel spur almost all the way. Bring the heel spur out. You bring up the my tongue got all kinds of tangled. Bring the heel spur out, like so. And there you have a leg, like that. And then you're just going to do the same thing here. You flip that up, take these panels, rotate them down, take this and rotate it down, and tab slash slot it in to place, like that. And you're going to rotate, bring out the foot, make sure the heel spur is all the way out, and there you have two legs. Now you're going to untab the legs at this point right here, like so, and they were just tabbed in to these slots right here on the sides. Just want to bring those out. Now you're going to take this section here and you are going to split it like show, like that. And now this just looks all kinds of weird, doesn't it? Yes, I know. And <laughs> you're going to take what are now going to be the arms, you're going to rotate them 180 like that. You're going to take these sections here, which will be the shoulder pads. You want to take them, rotate them, and bring them down like that. You're going to take it, rotate it, and bring it down like that. You're going to take the form, and you're going to rotate it 180, like that, and just bring the hand down. Take the other form, rotate it, and bring the hand down. And now at this point, you want to take the insect legs, and you're just going to bring them down, and then fold them in on this hinge right here, like that. Do the same thing on the other side, and oh, these do pop off. They pop off quite easily. Just pop them right back in. Right back in, people. It's not the end of the world. If you got to pop a ball joint back in. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Now... These sections here are on a ball joint, so you can bring them out slightly because what you're going to do now is you're going to bring the arms up and bring the legs down. So you're going to swing these arms up, bring the leg down, and this whole shoulder assembly right here will just slot right into this big gap right here. Oh, oh no. That sounded dirty. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's going to snap right in there. Like so, you know, bring the leg down, bring the arm up, and put that whole assembly right in the shoulder area. Now you can just kind of bring these arms up out of the way, take the wings, and you just come back on the hinge. You can bring them down like that. You can bring the arms down. When he comes in package, his arms are up here like this, which I don't like because you can see that post. And I don't think that's really the way it's supposed to be. I think it is supposed to have... I, th I think it's supposed to be like this. To where the shoulders are more flush with the body. It just makes more sense. But um, now that you have the legs down where they're supposed to go, um, you just want to bring them down. You can see there's a little a, a tab right here. And basically you just want to pull it down. Or pull it back, rather. You want to pull it back just so it clears that crotch section right there, and it'll go where it's supposed to go. Bring it back, 
And boop, I pop the other side out. Ah, oh, man! Don't do this to me. God, don't do this. You just want to bring it in. In there. It'll just all lock into place. Just make sure it's flush. And there you go. There you have that. Then you want to take these antennas. You just want to bring them down. Take the bug head. Bring it down. Like so. And take Backfire's head. Rotate it. And there you have Backfire in robot mode. And yes, he does look damn, damn, damn cool. I like him so much. Of the three, he is definitely the most ninja looking, especially because of the head sculpt. He just has this, this just ninja mask going on. And he definitely looks the most ninja y -y of of the three. And I do, I, I do like him very, very much. Very cool. Um, articulation wise, the head is on a very good ball joint. You can look all the way up. Oh my god, it's a. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> god? No. It's, the head is on a ball joint. Um, the shoulders can pivot upward like this. You are on a ball joint. You also have uh, the hinge and ball jointed elbows. You get good, good range of movement. Um, you also have the hands, the wrists, which are on a ball joint. They can move like that for some reason, and they do rotate. Um, no waist joint on this guy. Um, hips, again, on a ball joint, you get that thigh swivel, you get a good knee joint which could, with good range of movement, and the foot is on the ball joint, and you also get some heel movement. And the wings, of course, you know, the, the, the insect feet you can position however you want, and the insect wings you can position however you want. Again, if you want to get all G1 about it, you can bring them up like this. Which I actually do prefer. I like having the, 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 the wings up like this. I think it makes them look a lot more uh, a lot more badass, if you ask me. And um, I do like to bring the forearms forward to this silver part. It's facing you. I think it makes it look better. And I think that's the way it's supposed to be anyway. So. There you have that. Very, very cool. Now he does have his weapons. He has six of these little daggers, and one thing about these daggers, I'm going to tell you right now. If you buy this figure and you have children, do not let your children mess with this toy, because these little daggers are sharp. I don't know if you can really tell, but these daggers come to a very sharp point. These things are actually sharp. You could probably draw blood with these things. They're actually quite sharp, and you can stick yourself really easy. This is like a needle point right here. And it's crazy! It's really crazy that these things are, are that sharp. But they are. They really are that sharp. So definitely be careful with these things. Be careful, because I've already poked myself quite a few times messing with this toy, and it's not, it's not fun. Not fun at all. But, um, yes, he can't hold his, his daggers. You just plug them right into his hands. And the other daggers... He has those posts on his shins here. Just plug them in. And the third one, if you want to have all of them uh, holstered, he has that one right here on his hip. So you can have all three of them holstered on either side if you choose. But me personally, I like him wielding two and just having the rest just chilling out here. So yeah, that look going. Very cool. I'm really liking this guy. And be very, very careful. Oh my god, I'm a little gassy today. I don't know if you're hearing me kind of you know, burp internally. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have eaten those burritos. But Megatron makes them look so good. He's like, oh, you should eat Starscream's burritos. They're delicious. And I said, sure, I'll have one. And look, now I'm eating. I ate some, and now I'm all gassy, and I'm, I'm burping while I'm doing a review. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Forgive my burpage, my gassage, I'm sorry. But anyway, for comparison, here he is next to G1 Kickback. And here he is with his buddies, Mr. Stormbomb and Mr. Thundershred. And they do make a damn, damn cool set. Now, I think we need a little turntable action for these final thoughts, shall we? Let's... 
Now, in my personal opinion, Fans Project has done it again. I am not at all disappointed by any of these figures. They're all great standalone figures, but they're meant to be a set. They are the Insecticons that aren't the Insecticons, but are the Insecticons, however you want to look at it. But they look great together. They look great on the shelf. And I would definitely highly, highly recommend these figures. If you're asking yourself, why should I buy these? My answer is, why not? Dare I say, why not? If you have the means, pick these figures up. They are awesome. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Fans Project Causality CA05 Backfiery. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, and poem in your face! Nah, oh my god, oh my god, ah, nah, no, oh my god, ah, oh my god, get him away, get him away, ah, god, get him away, please, get him away, get him away. Just shoo them away. They, uh, shoo, 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 ah, they're not shooing, they're not shooing, they're not shooing, god, they're not shooing, god. Mm, poor little guy, he looks really scared. You think we should help him out? Are you kidding? That little freak burnt down our bunk beds! Yeah, good point. He's on his own. Mm, I finally get the top bunk and look what happens. <laughs>